Untie me! I'm so dead! Someone, please! When I say you suck, I mean you really suck. If I offended you, I'm sorry. Fuck! Fuck! Oh my Get God. this off me! What do you want? I told you not to contact me. I'm... Hey! Hey! That's it! I'm gonna teach you a lesson! Let's roll, fuckhead! <laughs> out. Come on, man. Untie me. Oh, thank God. I'm in so much trouble. Can you give me a ride? Please. I'll repay you, I promise. Oh, no. I guess so. This is such a disaster. I'm supposed to be getting married. I need to get my suit from home and pick up the car. No, then track no, down no. my soon-to-be-dead best man and pray to fuck he still has the rings. And get to the church in, like, five hours. I promised her I wouldn't go crazy. She's gonna kill me. I'm such an idiot. The ceremony starts at 3 p.m. My dick is burning. I'm so dehydrated. If they hadn't stopped, I don't know what I would have done. A few cars went by, but nobody stopped. Nobody would help. They would just slow down, roll down the window, laugh and point, take photos, and then speed off. I was on my bachelor party. Yeah, I got that part. The big question is how you ended up stripped and tied to a telephone pole. Dude, I have no recollection. It was supposed to be a few quiet drinks, you know? Then the absinthe came out, and then the coke came out. At least I think it was coke. It got really out of hand. They made me finger a dog. I teabagged an elderly lady in a bus stop. Yeah, they sound like great guys, your friends. Last thing I remember, I was stuffing a handful of mushrooms in my mouth. Always a good idea. Next thing I know, I wake up there with a deer gnawing at my balls. It's a low point. Why do you reek of perfume? I don't know. No, uh, wait. Shit, no. There was a stripper, I think. And a midget. Or a stripper midget. Or a stripper midget. Oh, God! I've really done it this time. How am I gonna be able to say these vows, man? Okay, that's the car I'm arriving in for the wedding. You jump in and wait while I get changed quickly. It's my father-in-law's. Miserable bastard. He loves this car more than he loves his own daughter. Okay, at least I look like I'm getting married now. I got a message from my best man saying he's in a restaurant out of town. If he's lost the wedding rings, I'm gonna call him. Come on, pick up. Who do you think it is? 
A so-called friend you tied to a pole in the middle of nowhere with no fucking clothes on? We don't have time for this now. Just tell me you have the rings. Unbelievable! One thing you haven't yet completely fucked up. Stay there, don't move, I'm on my way! Okay, the good news is, he's in a seafood diner on the way to the church. You step on it, we might make this. Only that douche would be eating lobster at a time like this. He's going to literally castrate me! Please! You have no idea how much he loves this car! Oh shit, no! It's trapped in the car! Oh, what's the paint job? I don't want to be walking down the aisle with whiplash. This is gonna be so close. He's going to literally castrate me. Oh no, no, her father's gonna kill me! Shit, shit! You asshole. Oh my god! Come on! Shit! Shit! Fuck you! Excuse me. Beautiful. 